Alright, so we're the Roboneers. I'm Blake. I'm David. I'm Cassie. I'm Colin. I'm yes. And our robot's name is Cornelius Albert Bach. <laughs> I didn't name it, he did. <laughs> and so our first thing we did was we had to decide what we were going to do and what our objectives and goals were going to be for the robot. And the first thing we thought of was we had to use all four sensors. We didn't choose that, it was kind of thrust upon us because we don't really like the light sensor because it doesn't work for crap. So, but we had to use it anyway, and we want. We thought the way to use it would be uh, to make it go to sleep. Like if you cover it, then it just goes to sleep because there's no light. It's dark, and then it plays a cool sleeping sound. And uh, we went with the. Well, we got a list of all the ones that we could pick, and we we picked the uh, the scorpion one just because it looked like a scorpion, and we thought scorpions are pretty cool. And so we had to have it have a good striking distance. Uh, we didn't want it to miss. Uh, we wanted to pick one that was relatively simple in construction because our main focus on this would be learning the NXT program. We didn't really care about the, the building steps because we were just following instructions anyway. There was really no point in going with a complicated build. And we really wanted to have a mustache because our, our logo has a mustache. I have a mustache. David is trying to have a mustache. They can't grow mustaches. But, but we wanted a mustache on it. We wanted our thing to actually work because I, I see a lot of there's a lot of trouble with the programming at first, and it's really hard to be one of the simple and actually work. And our main focus was just to learn the basics of NXT programming. Yeah, so for the design, Blake already said a lot about that, but we basically followed the yeah, basic plans, and we made a scorpion because we like scorpions. Except Colin, he wanted the wheels, but kind of disagreed. Yeah, he got shot down to ass. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so building the robot, um, we, of course, we built the scorpion, and that would be Blake and David working on the scorpion tail, trying to get the um, starting to be A very intense moment. <laughs> and then, so after completing the robot, we decided to make up a little friend, so a little baby robot that doesn't really have any purpose, but. Yeah, and then on to the kind of crazy fun stuff. So we had this whole scorpion built structure, and now we had to effectively install the brains with NXT programming. This, for you guys who don't know, NXT is more of a graphical programming language versus like Python is more of a data, MATLAB is also data, but this is more graphical, you kind of have your whole layout. So this was our first run of programming, and we kind of just went for it just to see what we could do because we're engineers and I don't like directions. So we just tried it, and it kind of failed epically on us. So we thought, hey, we should probably read the directions, and we went back and did that. And so this is our final flow chart for our final program. And we've got over here, this is our sound sensor, so this is going to activate it. Our robot's just going to sit there until it has a sound input or some decibel level, which they don't really tell you, but you can pick in there. And then it goes and hits our ultrasound and looks to you for a couple conditions. If it's closer than the specified distance, it bumps to this loop, but if it's not, it just sits here and just keeps crunching along and doing this thing that scorpions do. But if it's still far away and then you cover the light sensor, if you get light input less than what we designed, it will go and stop all motion and play our little snoring sound and effectively goes to sleep. And this thing will keep looping and it bumps back to your sound thing until it gets sound activated. But otherwise, if it's still cruising and walking and if it gets closer than I think we had five inches for striking range, it'll go into this loop and play this condition and activate our stinger striking tail, which is our stinger motor, which will strike down. And then it's fully extended and then it waits for input from a touch sensor. And then once it gets input touch sensor, it knows it's effectively neutralized its target. And then it goes and retracts and loops again and the whole thing keeps playing and looping back and forth. And that's kind of a close up of what each loop does in general. They look for two conditions because these are switch statements that are based on inputs and have a select set of outputs for them. And we had fun attempting the program. Like, it was kind of tricky at first, but. It's a giant pain in the butt. The he, doesn't know, he doesn't know programming. All right, so. so we had a lot of problems with the ultrasound, uh, ultrasonic sensor. It had, like, it overshot its target a lot. And uh, we had issues with walking straight, so we had to equalize the engine so it keep on a straight course. The tension sensor, like, it, it try and hit stuff, and it would just, like, leave it out there because it wasn't feeling anything, so we had to turn the sensitivity up and put like a little probe thing on there so it hit the ground better. And uh, understanding the loops, that took a while. We had to read the instruction or instructions. Um, a lot of ideas got shot down, dreams crushed, and uh, 
a lot of people mess with the programs and the Torah screwed everything up and we had to go back and fix it. So one, one person. One person. This person right over here. It was working perfectly. But it turned out good. So. College is about learning. It cost us a day. And so there's a robot. That was one of the hardest parts. It's actually installing a mustache. But the completed robot runs and performs just like we laid out our goals and objectives. And so if you have questions for any of us, we will take those now. Or we can just run the scorpion. <coughs> Alright, so I guess okay. we're going to scorpion now. Just a moment, just a moment. Yeah, I don't want to get this. Yes, it's fine. Okay, take a look at the robot here. Wait, wait. What's your question? How long did it take for your robot to grow the mustache? Uh, <laughs> that's been years in the making. <laughs> took about two weeks for him to hit puberty, and then just not very long after that. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we'll run the robot. Look at that here, come here. Uh, we're kind of low on battery. Just your hand. No, I wanted to strike you. No, you're Alright, we're running YOLO. And then, if he gets close, he's like, get out of my way. And then he'll keep walking. And then you can put him to sleep. And wake him up! And get back up. He's getting really low on battery. Okay, so that's our robot. That's what he does. He's usually a lot more deadly. Yep. Thank you.